Okay. I'm down at the Black Country Food Bank with Wendy. Um, Wendy, do you want to just tell us a little bit about what you do and how this all came about and how things are going? Well, um, we started back in 2002 with the vision. Um, yeah. And we got going officially in 2006. Mm -hmm. um, what we do is we work in partnership with local agencies. Mm -hmm. We're not a soup kitchen. People can't just turn up and be fed. Mm -hmm. But what we do is when we work with the agencies, we actually then signpost people to other help as well. Mm -hmm. So for instance, today, somebody's come in, their son's unemployed. Yeah. We happen to know that there's a job in his trade, so we've yeah. signposted them yeah. as soon as we can. Yeah. Um, if they come in, there's a housing problem, we would signpost them to the housing department. Yeah. Yeah. In addition to that, we give them three days nutritionally balanced food, right. which yeah. we sorted out, organised with WPCT. Excellent. So again, it's this working in partnership. Yeah, so how many people do you have volunteering down here uh, on, a, on a weekly basis? On a weekly basis, there's over 30 of us. Oh, right, okay. So, and that's everybody from somebody who's retired, yeah. um, right the way through to people who are unemployed. Mm -hmm. We also have people that come to us on work programs from the DWP, mm -hmm. and they come and they get real work experience. Mm -hmm. So again, they can go on and get paid work. Yeah, and have you got future plans? Or oh, what's, yes. what's the future? <laughs> yes. What would the future look like? Um, at the moment, I mean, as a business, I'd be, my turnover is massive mm -hmm. and it's going up all the time. Yeah. But actually, I want to turn that round. Right. And one of the things I want to do is actually empower the people that come to us. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, we want to run a work program and we have an embroidery machine to do right. that we would hope to do that. Yeah. We're also in touch with somebody who, as a hairdressing trainer, mm -hmm. is going to help us and we want to set up a social barber shop. Oh, right. So we give yeah. our clients a haircut, yeah. but provide training for others at the same time. Fantastic. So the idea is to just keep empowering people. Yeah. And the other thing we want to do is budgeting. Mm -hmm. So yeah. budgeting with your income, now whether that's £60 a week mm -hmm. or £600 a week, mm -hmm. everybody needs to know how to budget. Yeah. And a lot of those that come to us, they just have a lot of skills. So they get into a mess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's great to be down here, and uh, thanks Thank very much for letting me come down and volunteer. Thank you for coming okay. down. Thank I'm with Rosa, um, down at the Black Country Food Bank. Rosa, yes. tell me about what you think about the services that are provided down here. The service here is, is vital for the people I work with. I work across the borough oh, on base nice. early intervention <laughs> where the consultant psychiatrist is Dr Cullen mm -hmm. and we work with people, people who right. endure mental health problems, mm -hmm. primarily psychosis, bipolar disorder right. and schizophrenia. Yeah. So what do you do what, what, what do you do with the Black Country Food Bank? Okay. Do you know where we are? The people who, we, who I work with, the clients, mm -hmm. uh, some of them have enduring psychosis and sometimes they lose their appetite, uh, they're facing hardship because they're not able to work, so they become unemployed. And with the help of the food bank, and sometimes their benefits are taken away from them, the food bank helps them to manage until we can get them back on track again into employment. Fantastic. Okay, so Very nice to meet you. Thank you.